In the last chapter, we talked about editing communication shortcuts and editing the tag database using the import-export utility. Now we'll look at direct reference tags in Factory Talk View SE. As we talked about in previous videos, Factory Talk View SE provides device and memory HMI tags just like RS View 32 does. View SE also provides direct reference tags which allow objects on the display to make a direct reference to a tag in the controller without going through the tag database. After you migrate an RS View 32 project over to Factory Talk View SE, you may want to edit your displays so that they use direct referencing rather than HMI tags. Depending on the complexity of the display and the number of tags referenced, making this change could be a time-consuming process. To help with that, we have created an HMI tag to direct reference tag converter utility. This utility converts HMI device tags in displays into their associated direct reference tags. The utility can be downloaded from the Rockwell Knowledge Base in AID 31289. Let's take a look at how the direct reference tag converter utility works. The utility uses information from an existing application to convert display HMI device tag references to direct references. It uses the exported HMI tag database, exported displays, and exported alarms to do this. On the tank values display, you can see that the display objects are pointing to a device tag in the HMI database. We are going to update all objects on this display to use direct referencing. Now let's look at how to use the utility. First, we will export the required files from our converted Factory Talk View SE project. And then we'll use the utility to convert the device tag references to direct references. The first thing we will do is export the tag database. To do that, we open the tag import and export wizard in View Studio. We'll choose the Export to CSV File option. Next, we choose the SE project type and browse to the projects.sed file. Click Finish to export the tag and alarm database. The next step is to export the displays to XML format. To do this, you right-click on Displays and choose Import and Export. We want to export graphic information from displays, so we'll pick that. For our example, we will only be changing the Tag Values display. So we'll clear all other displays and just select the one we want. We click Next and then Finish to export the display to an XML file. Now that we have exported the files we need, we can use the Tag Converter Wizard to convert the HMI device tag references to direct references. We have already installed the Tag Converter Wizard on our desktop, so we'll open it. The type of conversion we will be doing is from HMI tags to direct reference tags. First, we will browse to our exported tag database.csv file. Next, add the exported display XML file. You can add more than one display if you're converting multiple displays. Finally, in the destination directory, specify the location for the new display XML file. Be sure this location is different from the original exported display location. Click Next. The utility goes through and changes all device tag references on the display to direct references. The report generated tells us that 15 substitutions were made in our display. The next step is to import the display with the converted objects back into the project. Again, we'll right-click on Displays and choose Import and Export. This time, we will be importing graphic information into displays, so we'll pick that and click Next. 
We don't need to back up the display, so we'll choose No and click Next. Since we are only importing one display, we'll choose Single Display Import File. Now we need to select the display XML file that was converted. We'll also select the Tank Values display as the display to import to. We can update existing objects on the display rather than creating new ones. Finally, we click Finish. The XML is imported into the display. Now, let's look at what was changed on the display. We'll open the Tank Values display and look at the properties for some of the numeric string display objects. As you can see, the tag references in the display were changed from the HMI device tag to a direct reference. If we test run the display, you can see that data is displayed, but we know that now it is coming directly from the controller, rather than through the HMI tag database. So that's how you would use the Tag Converter Wizard utility to update your HMI device tag references to direct references. One thing to note when using the Tag Converter Wizard is that while all HMI device tags on a display are converted to direct references, any HMI memory tag references will remain unchanged. You should also know that the Direct Reference Tag Converter utility can be used with both ViewME and ViewSE.